another bizarre and extremely rare condition that strikes down otherwise healthy young people like Holly Longford and can leave them unable to walk or talk. It has doctors baffled because physically the patients have nothing wrong with them. Lucy Polkinghorne explains. I rely on everyone to help me get food, get change, help drown myself out of the shot because I can't do it. Very frightening. You just see your, your child go from a perfectly active teenager to not being able to walk, not being able to talk. It's very hard, I think, for people to understand, for laymen, for anyone to really understand how it can be that patients can present with such significant overwhelming symptoms when there's no physical cause. Incredibly, doctors say there shouldn't be anything wrong with Adelaide teenager Holly Longford. I was spasming out of control and I couldn't stand a walk. I started to lose my speech. Her world was turned upside down 14 months ago after a collision while playing netball. And I came off the court crying because my back was in so much pain. And then the days pro pro progressed. I just got worse. She saw chiropractors, physios and doctors, but no one could help. I got admitted to another doctor and then he put me on fluoxetine and I had a reaction to it. So it sent my body off into a spasming seizure sort of thing, not being able to stop and I couldn't walk at all. She spent two weeks in hospital learning how to walk again and despite countless tests and scans, doctors couldn't find anything physically wrong. For her mum, Wendy, the unknown was frightening. You just see your little girl deteriorate and they can't find anything. And I suppose that's a hard thing as a parent. You just, you don't want to believe it's a psychological issue either because you think, I can't fix that. No one really understood it as well. They just thought it was like, a just a free case and like almost a miracle that I covered so quick. But not for long. The spasming in the legs returned and she was readmitted to hospital. And that's when she was diagnosed with the mysterious conversion disorder. The conversion disorder is a disorder where patients present with signs and symptoms of a neurological illness, such as having had a stroke or a seizure of some description, but where there's no actual underlying physical illness. Instead, it's the body's response to some underlying stress. While it seems unbelievable, Dr Andrew Court from the Royal Children's Hospital in Melbourne says it's very real and illustrates the power of the mind over the body. These symptoms are unconscious, they're not fabricated, they're not made up. 15-year-old Jana Tanska understands all too well. She's had the condition for four months. Hers was also triggered by back pain. Some days I don't understand it, but... Like, I understand what's happening, but you still want to, you want to have a specific cause from it, like, not just psychological, because it just sounds, it doesn't sound right. Health experts say little is known about the disorder and what triggers it. It can only be explained by psychological stress. But for Yana and Holly, two happy and healthy teens, it doesn't make sense. It's your body's way of just saying it can't, cope with stuff going on with your life. I have no idea what it could have set it off because yeah. at that time I was normal, I was happy, I was going out every weekend, going to parties and seeing friends. While the symptoms aren't permanent, there's no quick or known cure and there's always a chance it could return. A rehabilitation program, it's a returning or retraining the body to functioning normally, which may involve physiotherapy, trying to work out what the underlying psychological distress is and be able to manage it and deal with it. Nothing seems to be helping, so it's just hopefully time. I will get better because I'm determined to.